Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Pisa of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about a Naples panel for experts predicting financial markets, a few Florida legal issues for 2018, and more. Today is Thursday, January 4th, and this is the Morning Report. Naples area investors will have the opportunity to hear professionals give their predictions for financial markets during a panel being held by the CFA Society Naples on February 8th. The organization's annual forecast dinner will feature experts from T. Rowe Price, Bloomberg Intelligence, and PNC Financial Services Group. Jeffrey Dyermeyer, an independent director at Janice Henderson Investors, will moderate the panel. President of the CFA Society Lauren McDougall, who also serves as a senior credit analyst with Wasmer Schroeder & Company in Naples, Naples, elaborated that this year's panel discussion will be interesting given the economic and political uncertainties investors face in 2018. The dinner will run from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at the Naples Grand Beach Resort. Both individual tickets and full table reservations are still available online. From the U.S. Supreme Court in Washington to a Tallahassee courthouse, Florida's high-profile legal battles in 2018 will focus on issues ranging from a water war to medical marijuana. With thousands of lawsuits moving through the state and federal courts, it's impossible to mention or even foresee all the major legal disputes that will play out in the new year. But there are some to watch. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments on Monday in a long-running water battle between Florida and Georgia, where Florida contends that Georgia is siphoning too much water in northern parts of the interstate river system damaging the river and the oyster industry in Florida's Bay. Also on the docket, Florida A&M University drum major Robert Champion's death in 2011 during a hazing incident drew national attention and spurred prosecutions of other members of the school's famed Marching 100. The Florida Supreme Court will hear arguments in an appeal by Dante Martin, a band member who was found guilty of manslaughter felony hazing resulting in Champion's death. Martin challenges that the law is overly broad. And Florida voters in 2016 approved a constitutional amendment to broadly legalize medical marijuana. But more than a year later, legal battles continue about how the state should carry out the amendment. Orlando attorney John Morgan has filed the highest profile case, arguing that lawmakers violated the constitutional amendment by passing a measure that bars smoking medical marijuana. To see other 2018 Florida issues, check out NaplesHerald.com. Gas prices to kick off 2018 are the highest they've been to start the new year in four years. According to AAA, the average fill-up in Naples was $2.46 per gallon on Wednesday, while in Lee County, the average ran $2.41 per gallon. Statewide, the average fuel price was below the national average at $2.45, even though Florida fuel prices have moved up $0.08 cents in a week. Analysts blame the higher prices at the pump on high demand combined with rising oil prices. On the last trading day of 2017, crude oil hit a two-year high, but prices are expected to drop as they usually do in the winter months, as demand typically hits low points. Drivers have been spoiled by lower gas prices over the last few years. 2017's average fuel price nationwide was $2.39 per gallon, well below the $3.34 annual average in 2014. But analysts are warning that prices will be higher in 2018. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.